Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build my 7 segments uh, timer or counter, however you want uh, to call it or use it for. Um, and let me quickly demonstrate it, what it does, uh, if you haven't seen it already, in my showcase video that I will link on the screen hopefully. Uh, this is a 7 segment uh, display which can count upwards and it has a very nice overflow because it all uses the same clock and um, it's quite compact too, it's completely silent. And yeah, enough of talking, let's hop into the tutorial. Of course we will start with our 7 segment display and the first thing we need to do is wire up the redstone behind it so we have to spread the 7 segments to 7 different layers and we will do it by going down here for the lowest segment and let me already grab the redstone and the comparators so I can show it better. So we have always to redstone dust and then the comparator for this will be right here. So then the next um, segments on the next level uh, will be right here. So we have two redstone like this. Uh, we'll cut this off in just a second. And the comparator is right here. Then the third one is this one. And this time again two redstone and the comparator here. Then for the middle one, now we cut it off, uh, we'll just have it like this again. So, to redstone, comparator. And then the next level will be again on this side. It's the same like below. Comparator and the redstone in line. Then over here, we have the two blocks like this, but the output needs to be one block higher. So we need a block to power the redstone over here, and then the redstone, and then cut this off. And we will have our input over here. We cut this off with this L shape, place a block here and the two redstone. And last but not least, cut the wire off. And that's our seven inputs to our segments. The next step is to place down our data tapes and therefore we we'll just go to one of the comparators and place the uh, droppers first. So we want to have a gap, then a dropper, and a gap and a dropper. It's always the same pattern. Place in the hoppers facing in from the back and then just wrap it round so we have 10 hoppers per layer. And I will continue this now and speed it up a bit. Now that we have the data tapes in place, we need to power um, the droppers so we can fill the data tapes. And therefore, we need to go down here and place a line of blocks here. So this is four blocks, the same as uh, the segment is white. And this is actually our clock line. And we just place redstone like this and the repeater facing to this direction to connect the second display later on then place a lever here and power it and then come out two blocks here and go one up and here we want to place two more repeaters. We need this later on to synchronize uh, the different displays so it all has the same clock and now just go ahead and place redstone on top of all the droppers And when we did this, we need to make sure that everything is connected. Oh, that was wrong. Over here. So I'll just place a redstone here. This is connected. And redstone here. And everything should be connected right now. Now it comes to the tricky part because now we need to fill our hoppers. And therefore, we need to have different items. So in my data tape tutorial, I tried to cover 
how the thing works already. So if you want to understand how it works, you can go there and check this out. Uh, if not, I will put images in here in just a second uh, where you can see what items needs to go in which layer in which hopper. And therefore, um, I want to explain quickly what items you can use. So you need two uh, different non-stackable -stack uh, items. Uh, these are our prefill items. So I will put in the rules for prefilling the hoppers. So only one item can move in these hoppers. Then I have uh, some stackable items here um, that are my moving items. So when I want to shift a zero through the hoppers, I will place in a snow block or a wood block. And for um, the ones, I use normally the swords now. Since doors will get stackable uh, in 1.8, I will use swords. And um, in the lowest layer, I also need to detect if it's um, the one of the nine or if it's the eight because when it's the nine I need to give a signal to the next display that it should jump from uh, one digit to the next and because of that the lowest level is uh, quite a bit more difficult and I need also a um, six uh, a item which is stackable to 16 in white and in uh, brown so I have snowboards and signs you can also use ender pearls if you want to but I like to use snowboards and signs for that Now that we have all the hoppers filled, it's time to test it and see if we did everything correct. And therefore, we have to be super careful because uh, potentially the thing could break if we um, take the power from here to uh, all the way. So, um, since I need the space here now, I would just go ahead and place the lever here and I can break this one. And then I place two more blocks. A a repeater on the third delay, a comparator, and then a dropper facing in this direction and a hopper and put just one item into this hopper. And now you can see this one is activated so we can now remove the lever. And if we place a block right in front of here and put a button next to it, it's important that we have it on a block and not directly on the dropper because we don't want to power this hopper here. We can power it, get a short pulse and we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero again. Since we want to use this as a timer, we need a one second clock too, and therefore we just go over here and add a redstone torch above the dropper. This will give us one pulse, and then we place down half slabs like this and add a block here so we don't get a connection with the redstone, and then take three redstone dust and a repeater on the fourth delay and now we have a one second clock and you can see that the numbers turn into each other very smoothly. Turn the clock off we just need to place a redstone dust right there and a block in front and then we can add a lever to this block so we have our input right here. The very last thing we have to do now is to build the reset line 
And therefore let's pretend we had a third display, that's why I added the overflow here, because uh, we need to do some stuff with delays again, and I want to show it to you like this. So we have our um, redstone torch there, and we place a repeater here, and another repeater right here, and then we'll just go over two blocks, one block up, and then we are already at the next uh, redstone torch, and here we place a repeater here, then three redstone dust, and add also redstone dust up here, and uh, we would continue this until we have all our seg um, segments connected, except for the very first one. Uh, this one has no overflow torch, so uh, we can just go over here and uh, build up a little staircase to our um, dropper here and just connect it. Don't forget the repeater here. And what we need to do now is increase the uh, delay of the repeaters to the left. So this one is on one tick and then this one goes on two ticks. And now you see where I placed this. Next one would go on three ticks, four ticks and so on. And then we can just add buttons right here. And uh, these are our um, reset lines. So if I hit this button now, it will trigger both of these. So we are now at uh, 35, 46, and so on. And I can do it until I'm at the nine for the left display. eight and nine and now I can just do the same thing here until I'm at the nine and then hit the very uh, right button one more time and we are back at the zero zero. So seven, eight, nine and when I have all my segments at nine I can just hit this and it swaps back to zero zero and the whole thing is resetted. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a like because uh, this tutorial took a very long time to build up. It's quite complicated. I guess only um, getting the idea of uh, how to shift the items took me over a week in creative and yeah, much work went into this project. So a like is very appreciated. And please subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I will say thanks for watching and until the next video.